Hey, welcome back. In previous video we completed comparison calculations section. In this one we are gonna be starting a new one. In this one you will see how to use running total, running average and running count. So let's check how to use that and why is that so important. In front of us we can see this report page. We have this table that we will be using for our calculations and we have channels, sales and second sales column. That one I'm gonna remove. Let's click on that and our column is removed. Let me add sales one more time. And this second column will be basically for these calculations. So I'm gonna click again on this pencil here. Instead of comparison calculation, this time we will be using running calculation. Currently it's none, but if I click on this, I will be able to see first running sum. Running sum basically means running total. And if I click on this button here, let's see what we will get here. In this channel online, in this first row, we have the same value. But if we check next row, in store, sales is this number here, and basically running total is this number plus this number. If we check next one, reseller, we have this number here, and basically if we check in our running total, we are summing these three values. For this last channel phone, we have basically our total, because we are summing all these values that we have. This function can be useful in many situations. Let me show you one example. Instead of channel, let's use year for example. And what we get? First I'm gonna sort this table based on year. Sort by year. But instead of descending, I'm gonna sort it ascending. Let's click one more time. And now we have years ascending. So 2021st, 2022nd, 3rd and 4th. Excellent. And what we get here? We get running total for these years. For example, in first year we have these sales. In the second year we have these sales and basically we can monitor what is the total that we have for these two years. We can do the same for third year and fourth. We can do the same for months. Let's see how that works. If I add months here. Let me resize this. As you can see now we can see the running total for year and also for each month. If we scroll down, we will get our total value here in this last row. Now I'm gonna remove this year. I'm gonna leave months only and I'm gonna sort it. Excellent. Now what I would like to do, I would like also to include running average. So how can we do that? I'm gonna add another sales column. And this one will be for average. I'm gonna click on running calculation, running average. Excellent. Let me sort these months again. And again, we can see our running average in this sales column here. I'm going to add one more column. It will be running count. If I click on pencil here, running calculation, running count. As you can see, we get this 12 number here, which means basically that we have all 12 months in our table. Excellent. With this, I'm going to conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.